one. Hello, I'm Kelly here in the Butterfly House at Green Bay Botanical Garden. And today I wanted to feature some of our great native butterflies that we have in the Butterfly House. We've received a lot of pictures the last few weeks from viewers and from visitors that have wanted help identifying butterflies they found in their yard. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share with you some of the ones that we commonly see in the garden here and that are uh, readily seen in yards and roadsides and trails around, the, around Green Bay. One of them that I have here is a red admiral. And you'll see that it's quite camouflaged when its wings are, are closed and it's roosting, but it's easily recognized when the wings open. It has this great reddish orange circle against that black wing. And while they're camouflaged on the, on the outside of their wings, that bright color of their inside is supposed to startle and scare away any predators that might see them as that bright orange flashes on them. These guys love to, or their caterpillars love to eat uh, plants in the nettle family. So stinging nettle or wood nettle. One of the other butterflies that I've seen all throughout the garden outside the butterfly house, I wasn't able to find any inside this morning, is our Painted Lady, and this one is probably recognized by every grade school student. They're often raising painted ladies in their classroom. And again, they have that bright orange flash to scare away predators on the, on the open side of their wings. When their wings are closed, they're very well camouflaged um, and stay, stay quite hidden. Hey Kelly, I have a question about the Red Admiral. So. Yeah. I've been noticing, you know, when I'm driving in the country, you see a lot of them on the road. Yes. What are they doing on the road? Like, why do they hang out on the road? For the same reason that they're hanging out on the paths in the butterfly house, they're getting some of the minerals um, from that pavement. And it's, it's a really great heat sink too. So if butterflies are needing a spot to warm up and get some energy from the sun, the roads are a really nice warm spot to do that. Cool. And roadsides with nettles and and some of those um those weedy pollinator plants that they like to to get nectar from that's a perfect habitat for these these red admirals the other butterfly that i think everybody would recognize is our monarch nope not there you male, right? <laughs> <laughs> the monarchs i think are are pretty well known um by most people, that bright orange coloration is really a warning sign, right? That says to predators, stay away, I'm toxic, don't eat me. And the caterpillars get it as they're eating the, the toxins in the milkweed plant and it's passed on to the adults as they emerge too. So some really great native butterflies that you might see. And I wanted to share that all of these butterflies are part of a family known as the brush foot butterflies. Meaning, normally insects all have six legs. Of course he flies away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but these brush foot butterflies, they have, their very front set of wings is reduced in size. And so it looks like little tiny T-Rex arms. You can't see them very often. So if you look really carefully, it only looks like those butterflies have four legs, which is sometimes confusing to people. They expect to see six. It only has four. Um, the other really common piece that I like about these three butterflies is they all rely on what most people consider weeds as, as caterpillars. The painted ladies like to eat thistle. The um, red admirals eat stinging nettle, and monarchs, of course, eat milkweed, most of which people remove from their yards and their gardens because they're kind of a nuisance plant. But I think it's amazing that these plants that we don't like are actually really important to have in our gardens and our ecosystem um, because they support these amazing creatures. Um, the other piece about all these brush or these three native butterflies that we've got here is they are all migrators. We know that those monarchs migrate to Mexico when it starts to get cool in the fall. Believe it or not, those red admirals 
even the painted ladies, they migrate as well. Not to the same extent as, as the monarchs do, but as the weather cools, the adult butterflies will make their way south. They'll mate, they'll lay eggs. Those caterpillars will grow up and they'll move a little further south and the cycle continues. Um, as the population explodes down in the southern states then and spring arrives, they'll start to migrate north as the weather warms up and repopulate these northern states as well. So that's, their cycle continues year round um, just in different locations. I did read that these little painted ladies, believe it or not, these tiny little guys, they can actually fly up to 100 miles in one day and they can fly at a speed of 30 miles per hour, which is amazing on those tiny fragile little wings. So keep an eye out in your yard, in your garden at home, or visit the butterfly house or the garden. Um, check out some of the plants that we have out inside the butterfly house and outside in the garden. See if you can spot some of these beautiful natives for yourself.